Hello again everybody. Well the other day while I was washing the motor home I found what I think might be some wood rot. So we need to get the motor home up on the ramps to investigate. Oh, there we are, we're up on the ramps, the uh, front wheels are chopped, the handbrake's on and the Celica is pulled up to the front again. Yeah, I just noticed this light's a little bit loose and uh, when you put your hand underneath you can uh, feel the wood's a little bit soft. Yeah, you can see uh, under here, this bit is a bit rotten. And uh, you know, these corner areas, pretty spongy. The floor is pretty solid though. And uh, yeah, it's pretty solid where it gets up to there. Underneath the steps, pretty solid. But uh, yeah, this area, not so much. More uh, this area here. So I guess that back side of that back panel catches a lot of the weather, a lot of the spray and stuff when you're driving. So perhaps not surprising that that area is rotted. I don't think it's extended into the van, or if it has, it's not extended very far. Obviously, the best thing to do is going to be to cut all that rotten wood and timber out and replace it. But uh, got a lot of things planned for the van over the summer. So I don't think I've got time to tackle that job between trips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and treat it a little bit to harden it up with some rotten wood hardener. But the first thing to do is to give it a bit of a clean off. Then later on in the year, when we have a bit more time, we can attempt a full repair. So first thing I'm going to do is brush it off with a, a stiffish sort of a brush, get rid of all the loose muck and stuff. The right brain drives me insane. So this is the stuff I've bought, uh, Rustin's Wood Hardener for Rotted Wood, suitable for interior and exterior use. So that sounds uh, like it fits the bill, doesn't it? And basically, you just remove all the loose wood until a sound base is exposed. Well, might have a little bit more to do there. I'll see if we can get some of the uh, looser bits off. And uh, yeah, then basically whack it on with a brush, repeated coats until a hard surface is formed. So yeah, let's uh, give that a try. I'll start by removing any obvious flaky bits. Okay, well, slight change of plan. You can see that uh, this here is just an extension of the wall structure, so the plywood is very thin and it's actually exposed the expanded polystyrene of the wall insulation. So I'm probably not going to dob much over here. I'll probably just treat yeah, that solid. Yeah, I'm not really too sure how far to go. I'm a little bit worried if I put some solvent on here, it will uh, melt the expanded polystyrene. So maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll just dob it over with some underseal instead. Yeah, so I've got uh, some of this, which I think I can use to protect that a little bit. This is not really much to protect. If the wood's gone and there's just expanded polystyrene 
held in that aluminium trim. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we'll, we'll dob some of this on and if nothing else, it will make me feel a bit better. There you go, there is my temporary solution. Just uh, plastered a load of black goo over it in uh, the time-honoured fashion. Now at some point I do want to get under there with some under seal and pretty much do the hole underneath of the van. But I haven't got enough under seal at the moment, I've nearly used that tin up just doing that little bit and uh, probably haven't got the time today either. So I'm going to run her down off the ramps now and we'll have to formulate some sort of plan for the future. Here I come from the west side. So there you go, the first little uh, damp rot problem we've had with the van. Now, I'd be interested in your opinions on this. Now that section that runs around there seems to be an extension of the back wall board but the rot doesn't seem to have gone up into the body of the van it's just that skirt bit that hangs down and uh, on the sides the very end rear end of the sides there is also a little bit of rot but that seems to be uh, below the floorboard so the floorboard goes through and then that's an extra bit tacked on so the insulation in there is obviously not serving any purpose at all because uh, it's an outside space. It doesn't need to be uh, an insulated board in there. And it's not particularly structural either. So I'm wondering whether to replace that in a thicker plywood to try and replace it with something more lightweight or whether I can just um, leave it maybe. That, maybe that's an option just uh, cover it up with lots of underseal and leave it. Uh, that may be a bit of a bodge but uh, that's certainly what's going to be done for the next few months because we have a lot of use planned for the van so I'm not going to start dismantling it at this stage. So drop me a comment and let me know how you would tackle this. Well that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video please share it with your friends. Give the like button a press. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more.